when I was little, I dreamed of having a cleaning robot like Rosie from the Jetsons. And although we're not quite there yet, robot vacuums are an absolute game changer. So if you are considering buying a robot vacuum and you want to know, is it really worth the money? I'm gonna give you my 100% unsponsored review of what I think of robot vacuums or if you already have a robot vacuum and you wanna take it up a notch and get that robot really working for you, I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks that I use to make sure he is working more than I am. One of my favorite things about robot vacuums is that they get into all of those nooks and crannies that you wouldn't ordinarily access with a normal vacuum and mop. And so part of that process is having a really good setup before you even start your robot vacuum, making sure you've picked everything up off the floor, lifting up any chairs so it's super easy for him to get underneath there and give everything a really good clean. to wipe down all of my surfaces before I start my robot vacuum. That way any crumbs that land on the floor or any little smudgy bits that need to be picked up from the vacuum will be done after I'm finished. During my setup routine, I like to make sure that any liquid spills are mopped up so that it doesn't get sucked into my vacuum. And I also take the opportunity to just dust off any weird surfaces. That way that all of that dust will get picked up by the vacuum. This makes it so much quicker and easier for me to do these tasks. And I know that the robot is coming in straight behind me. There are some narrow spaces that are a little bit too tight for my robot, so I just give these areas a quick brush out and then he'll be able to pick up all that dust and debris. Because we are floor sleepers, putting our robot vacuum is a great motivation for me to make sure that our bed is folded up and put away. If you sleep on a normal bed, having a robot vacuum is also great for getting underneath furniture that normally you wouldn't get to as frequently. One of my golden rules for making the most out of your robot cleaner is to do a top down clean. So starting at the top of a room and getting all of that dirt and debris onto the floor so the robot will come and pick it up. You will be so surprised at how fast you can get through these rooms when you're not trying to be perfect and you're just letting it fall on the floor for the robot to pick up. Now, of course, I don't deep clean to this level every single time I turn my robot on, but I do try and pick a few of these things each time so it's never a big deal. So the robot that I have is a Roborock S7 Plus and that comes with its own dock, which means that when he goes home, all of the dirt and dust gets sucked up into the bag. So although this video is really about whatever robot vacuum you choose, if you would like to know more about mine, I'll leave a link down in the description box below. If you don't already have a robot vacuum, I highly suggest getting one with a mop attachment. My robot vacuums and mops at the same time. He can just vacuum if you don't need to mop. And my vacuum can also tell the difference between carpeted and tiled areas. And he'll lift up the mop pad when he is on my carpets.
water tank installed. Mop mount installed. Having a robot that maps your house is a great way of being able to multitask in different areas. Starting selective room cleaning. So for example, I often set him to go at the back of my house and that way I can start working down the front. I can also do this from my phone. So if I'm away from home and I need him to do a quick vacuum before I get home, I can set it up on the run. is one of the biggest reasons I love robot vacuums. I have long hair and I have lots of little girls with long hair as well as a cat. So this is the only way I've been able to clean these couches is by literally squeegeeing all the cat hair off and then I just leave it on the floor and the robot has no troubles picking up my long hair or the cat hair and it has been a godsend. Now, of course, robot vacuums are not perfect, but to be honest, when I was mopping and vacuuming, I certainly wasn't perfect either. There are some corners and edges that he does sometimes miss, but I think in the grand scheme of things, my floors are way cleaner with my robot vacuum. I did purchase the auto empty dock in addition to my robot vacuum and although it is super convenient some fluff does sometimes get stuck so if you are on a budget I think you could totally do without this.